If Paul says, meanwhile, we groan, longing to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling, because when we are clothed, we will not be found naked. For while we are in this tent of the body, we groan and are burdened because we do not wish to be unclothed. We need to have physical form. It's part of what we were made to be. But to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. Scholars debate, is this a reference to the eventual resurrection, which it may well be? Or does it also imply that there may be, prior to the resurrection, some physical form that is taken by people when they die, sort of like in promise of the eventual resurrection, not as a substitute for it, our, our, we die, our, our bodies go to the grave, they deteriorate here on earth, and yet in the book of Revelation you see these descriptions of people in heaven, and they appear to be actual physical, uh, you know, it's talking about walking and talking and bowing and wearing crowns and picking up uh, uh, palm branches and all that. So Paul says in 2 Corinthians 12, I know a man who 14 years ago was caught up to the third heaven. And clearly in the context he's talking about himself and the reason he's doing this is to, because he's, he's self-conscious about appearing to be bragging and all of that. Whether it was in the body or out of the body, I do not know. God knows. Because it's like he's saying there were aspects to this experience that made me think I was physical myself in a physical place. And there were other aspects of it that made me wonder. I do not know. And I know that this man was caught up to paradise. That's where he went. That's the present heaven. He heard inexpressible things that man is not permitted to tell. And by the way, some people based on this say that, well, if anyone ever did have an experience of going to heaven, then they would not be permitted to talk about it. But remember, the Apostle John was in a different situation than the Apostle Paul because the Apostle John's, part of his job was to tell us what he saw. In heaven, so I don't know that you can, you know, uh, decisively say that anyone who tells a story of having been to heaven is based on Second Corinthians twelve that that that's not permissible. But it does make you stop and think, and, and make you wonder if Paul was not permitted to speak of his experience in heaven. It's at least significant.